Hello all. Today let's learn about priority inheritance protocol. It is a solution to priority inversion problem. So imagine if we have task 1, 2, 3 like, and this is our timeline and we are interested in to let me first draw the timeline okay we have uh, three tasks and imagine uh, the pri their priorities task one priority is high and uh, then the task two and the task three priority is the lowest okay so first when the task three enters in the normal execution and it get it enters here it acquires a lock to enter to the critical region so what it happens then comes our task one which is the highest priority for task so the task two get preempted here and it the process started in the task one so in in that case after some time uh, first uh, make sure that the task one starts its normal execution first so where then the task one needs to access the high priority task what happen is we have already blocked the uh, high priorities from task 3 it's blocked so even st though still needs to access the uh, highest priority task to the resources it will not happen because then what happened is it's returned to the uh, blocked task and continue the priority highest priority activity but the specialty is here uh, it ta the task 3 takes the priority 1 because uh, where it came from task 1 to task 3 so task 1 is a high priority task so it inherits the task task 1's priority to task 3 here so then once it stop blocking what happen is it it releases the resources then only task 1 can execute its critical job and then since task 1 has the priority and here when uh, uh, when task 3 releasing when task 3 releasing his uh, blocking task priority 1 goes to normal priority the low normal low priority then and it gives the chance to task 1 to execute and task what continue its job after the critical section it, then it continues the normal execution and done then imagine while this is happening it means here when the task 3 is executing when the task is executing task 2 is trying to come but because task 3 inherits the priority of the previous task it is the highest priority at time time 4 right so though the task 2 arrives it didn't give the chance so, uh, hence instead it finishes the uh, highest priority task here and 
then only it releases its resource then the ch then the chance goes to task 1 and task 1 continues after it finished well task 2 is the highest priority at that moment since task 3 well, priority was lowered here and then task 3 executes so task 2 executes and after it's done its priority they all are normal execution after it, after task 2 done the, its work only task 3 gets the chance and all the uh, uh, tasks are now finished so this is priority inheritance protocol